previously in Chapter 10. The Knights of Avalon must embark on a quest to find the Crystal of Clarity, a mystical artifact that will reveal the path to salvation. The Crystal of Clarity has the power to expose hidden truths. I have nothing to hide, Morgana. The truth will only strengthen our cause. The truths it reveals may be difficult to accept. By the gods, there it is. The Crystal of Clarity. Prepare yourselves for what it reveals. The destiny of Camelot was now intricately tied to the choices and sacrifices the Knights of Avalon were willing to make. In the aftermath of the revelations brought by the Crystal of Clarity, Camelot was a kingdom on the edge. Knights, their faces etched with the weight of newfound truth, gathered in the Grand Hall. King Arthur, his voice stern yet laced with concern, addressed the assembly. The revelations from the Crystal have shaken us all. But we must stand united in the face of the challenges that lie ahead. The Crystal of Clarity has shown us the path, but are we willing to walk it, even if it means confronting our deepest fears? Lancelot, the weight of his choices heavy on his shoulders, nodded. We cannot falter now. The destiny of Camelot depends on our actions. Meanwhile, Lady Morgana, her gaze holding a mysterious intensity, approached Guinevere. The truths unveiled may be harsh, my queen, but they are necessary. The path to salvation requires sacrifice. I will face whatever comes, for the sake of Camelot and its people. As night fell, Merlin summoned the knights to the mystical chambers where the round table stood. The time has come to face the echoes of destiny. Each of you carries a role in the unfolding of Camelot's fate. Sir Galahad, the embodiment of purity, questioned Merlin. What role do we play, Merlin? You, Sir Galahad, are the key to unlocking the next phase of the prophecy. Your purity will guide Camelot through the shadows. We stand ready, Merlin. Whatever the prophecy demands, we shall deliver. Our resolve is unshaken. We will face whatever trials await us with courage and unity. Prepare yourselves, Knights of Avalon. The path ahead is fraught with peril, but in unity, you shall find strength. In the twilight embrace of an ancient forest, the Knights of Avalon face their fated path. The Knights of Avalon, armored and on horseback, Move cautiously through the forest. The echoes of destiny, not just prophecies, but now our stark reality. Whatever trials we face, we face them as one. United. Sir Galahad, his face illuminated by a strange ethereal light. He halts his horse. Can you feel it? The forest. It's alive with ancient magic. As they proceed, an echo of destiny floating in the air. Its form is ethereal, shimmering with an inner light. Knights of Avalon, your destiny awaits. Embrace your fears, for they will lead you to your truth. We are ready. Lead us to our destiny. The path ahead was uncertain, but the unity of the Knights of Avalon remained the kingdom's greatest hope. The destiny of Camelot awaits its champions. <laughs> this concludes Chapter 11 of the Knights of Avalon featuring actor Jordan Laidley as our guest storyteller. Kindly drop a review for Chapter 11 below and let us know. Remember, your reviews are crucial to us. Don't forget to listen to the rest of the episodes.